Now, let's look at this. It says a body moving with uniform acceleration has two points, this and this, on the velocity time graph of its motion. Calculate A, the acceleration. Now, the first thing you need to do when you see this kind of question is to draw the graph. Let's do that. I'm going to take a line from here. Another line. Okay. Then we take some values, rough values. Okay. You agree with me? This is the velocity line. This is the what? The time line. And this has no unit. We are going to assume it is in the default unit. Here is meter by seconds. Why here is in seconds. Okay? Now, whenever you see anything like this, it's always the S axis before the Y axis. The S horizontal, the source, the vertical. Because the ground must be there before you stand upon the ground. This must be available before you stand. So S must be available before you stand. So for the S, 5, let's say it's somewhere here. For this other one, this is S, let's say it's somewhere here. 20. We go back 15, let's say it's somewhere here. 60, let's say it's somewhere here. Okay, now we are going to plot. I'm going to plot this. Plot it here. Plot this. Let's assume this as straight lines. Plot it here, okay? Now, we draw a straight line from these two coordinates. Okay? Now, the question says, calculate the acceleration. Remember, acceleration is velocity over time. Let's take rough line again from here. This is red to here, okay, red. From here to here, you agree with me, is 20 minus 5, which will give us 15. So this is 15. Here to here, that is 60 minus 15, which is 45. Are you agree with me? Acceleration is velocity. You transfer this line here, velocity over time, over time. This one, change the time, 15. Our acceleration is equals to 45 over 15. Three equals to three meter per second square. That is our acceleration A. Hope you understand this change in velocity over change in time. This is change in velocity, change in time, coordinates or points. Hope this is understood. Thank you for joining.